What up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So it's Sarah here, Creating with Sarah. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a flip through of my 2019 Happy Planner. Okay, here she is in her beautifulness. Uh, this is the um, cover for the Happy Planner that I'm going with. And I'm just going to do a flip through for you guys. I haven't done any planning, but I thought I would share with you guys um, the this planner and the inside of it because it's a little bit different than what I thought um, but the inside of this cover is gold and then I have some inspiration cards that um, the happy planner did um, over the holidays for the happy and healthy holiday challenge there's these are the inspiration cards that you can download for free so this is the planner that I went with I think this is called life of the party planner um, but it's the one with the different multicolored um, rings on it and these are plastic ones and this is a 12 month and it says beautiful on the front and I'm gonna open it up here so in the front you have your welcome card um, from the happy planner crew and then you have hello and this planner belongs to you can write your name on it And then here is a year at a glance for 2019 and 2020. Let's see if I can get in the frame here. There we go. I love this one. It's so fun and colorful. All right. Okay. So I, I was doing a little um, pre-planning there on some notes. But this one's a little bit different than what I'm used to. Um, my first planner was this one um, from 2016. Uh, very old planner. This is one of the first ones. Um, so very, very different. At the end of the, um, let's see. Okay, so here is my previous happy planner that was like my um, all year round planner. So you can tell it's a little bit different. This one had um, January birthdays and then this month, January goals, special events, important dates, don't forget. I kind of like this setup in this one um, and the old ones. And then and this one, it's just top three notes, mantra, and then whatever current holidays are going on. And then this is a um, pretty cover that says Dreamer. It's like a lilac with some foiling. But you can always customize this. So that's what's going on there. And that's going to be for every month. And then this is the layout for monthly. And it has top events and then notes and then it has some extras in here which I think is cute for instance national cuddle up day <laughs> uh, let's see there was another one. Oh, national sticker day that's cute so it has some extra things in there which I appreciate I think that's fun so in here what I normally plan um, I have um, mom duties kids school like schedules and things um, activities appointments, uh, PTA meetings, birthdays, events, workout schedule. So that's what I'll plan in here. And then this is the weekly at a glance. And this one's different. This is not what I'm used to. This has lines and it is vertical, but it doesn't have boxes. So it's just straight lines. And then the top part is kind of faded with this blue shade color. This top portion here, I'm thinking I'm going to meal plan. That's why I have my sticky notes here. And then I'm gonna split this up from morning to evening, I think. And then I'm gonna put currants that I love here. And this, this was an idea if I was gonna do menu plan here or menu plan here, because then I could just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so on and then use this for something else. Maybe if there's like a birthday or a top party event, that was that's the first thing that I see, I could do that. So I'm not really sure with that. But that's what I'm thinking because this is totally different than what I'm used to in my original Happy Planner when I first started in this. 
And then what this had before was um, goals this week and worth nothing. I really, to be honest with you, I don't really understand that, worth nothing. So if you guys um, have any ideas what this was for, prompt to, let me know in the comments below. But um, I thought I would cover that with something else, either with meal plan, maybe something to keep me up what I'm doing in my fitness planner for myself, um, or maybe my YouTube goals. But, um, and then I'm not going to do goals for myself each week. I think that's just too overwhelming for myself. So I'm definitely going to do like current loves or anything that's going on. Like with reading, hobbies, um, shows, maybe date nights that I have to plan out or something. I'm not really sure. But I'm definitely going to um, customize that part. So that's what it looks like for each weekly glance. So I'm just going to go to February real quick. So this is February. Again, it's top three notes, mantra, and then whatever holidays. I love this cover. I'm going to skip over to March. So I'm going to skip over to March. That's what March looks like. I'm going to skip over to April. That's what April looks like. And you can always um, take these out and customize them with pictures and things. I definitely would recommend if you like doing scrapbooking or memory keeping, you could definitely do that in here. That's what I do with my um, my fitness planner with the protective sleeves. So I definitely love doing that. Okay, let's go to May. Here is May. May is my birthday month, so yay. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then we have June. And I went ahead and put one of these Happy Planner bookmarks in here to let me know I'm halfway through. That's halfway, right? Is it June or July? I think it's June. <laughs> Six months in. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's June. I'm not so key with uh, June's because it reminds me of Valentine's, but I might cover that one up. Uh, let's go to July. There's July. You deserve a whole sheet of gold stars. Maybe it's July halfway through. I don't know. You guys let me know. Would you do June or July to um, mark as you're halfway through the year? So that's July. Uh, here's August. Okay. There's September. I love the whole, um, letter balloons. Those are so cute. All right. October. Now October I'm going to have to jazz up because October, fall are like my favorite time of the year. I am so about Halloween and all that. So I'm definitely going to customize this for sure. And I put another bookmark here so I know when we're dipping into fall and that way I can be more prepared for the holidays. So that's why I have this bookmark there. And here's November. I like the leaves, that's pretty. And then we have December. So here's December. That's pretty, I like that. And I think I get some notes. Let's see. Maybe not. So you only get one page of notes. That's kind of sad, but that is a look at this planner. I don't know if anybody was interested in it. I didn't really see a flip through for this planner, but I just thought I would post it because the end of the months are different. And then it is a um, vertical line with no boxes. So hopefully that gives you an idea if you decide to get this planner. Um, I know like there's all this new thing with a Franken planner and a transform planner, which is amazing, which really inspires me. That's why I love being creative and sharing and get inspired by others because that is just amazing to me because I have, I haven't had the happy planner in a long time. I just got back on my fitness planner. If you guys have checked out my other videos, definitely do so. But before I would use, I've had Erin Condren. I just finished in the holiday with um, a Heidi Swap planner. Because I, I'm like a scrapbooker. I like to customize 
my things. Um, so I was using this for the fall and I've used Blue Sky, Erin Condren, and of course the Happy Planner, but I just, I'm so amazed how getting back into the Happy Planner community, everyone has changed it up with this Franken and Transformer. I definitely should try that out, but um, I have this one for now. This is going to be my catch-all, and then of course I have my fitness planner, if you guys have checked that out. Also, um, I bought in some sheets, um, some filler papers to put this in here, and I was thinking that I could use these as well, and um, this one has by the hour, top priorities, and get it done. And I could just put this in here, fold it, that way I could still see my weekend, and um, use the backside for, you know, my brain dumping creativity. But I thought this was nice, and that way if I need a list, or I could just pull it out. That's why I really like the Happy Planner I decided to go with this year, because it's just so customizable. And I really love that, because they've come out with so many accessories. Um, I'm loving this punch, because it really helps with things that I need for, like, the kids school I could just punch it and put it in there um, and then I love this I just got this for myself for Christmas and I could use this for all the scrapbook paper I have that I need to get used up or for pictures so I love this um, but yeah that is a look at my 2019 mom catch-all planner for now um, I might jump on the wagon with the whole transformer planner I love that idea but um, I definitely have some other, in my old planner here, let me know if you guys want to see a video of this, but I'm, this is old. <laughs> but I had the old um, extension pack from the old one. So I have the to-do, the meal plan, and the budget. I, I didn't even touch it, so these are all blank. I might take these out and put them in here. So... That is all that I'm going to talk about in this video today, guys. But definitely follow me on my Instagram, Creating with Sarah. And I will catch you all in the next one. Happy planning. Create, love, and inspire. Bye.